We're not playing it safe with all the virtual machines and all that soy boy stuff. We are gonna be dual booting it today. We're gonna do a marvelous restart then get to our boot manager so that we can switch because I've set this up as UEFI. Oh, Windows 10 mods that look like Windows 7. Give me views like the Reunion 7 and the Revert 8 Plus. Anyways, boom, Lenovo logo, spinning wheel, there you go. Okay, so we get our Windows 7 background and there is our setup. Everything looks weirdly spaced out or something, I don't know if it's just me, but anyways, the trackpad does not work. Great first impression so far. Don't mind the external mouse cable just dangling around, but now we've got a working mouse. Everything looks so weirdly scaled up, even the mouse if you can notice. Install now. Setup is starting. Looks suddenly the background stretched up or something. Even the mouse is already themed. No, thank you. Again, stuff looks weirdly scaled. Sure. Next. Windows only. No, not the primary or well, 97 gigabyte partition. Let's hope nothing goes wrong during the installation, like some weird error. Whoopsie, everything is suddenly darker. It's because I've just moved to the desk because I have to charge the computer and I. Don't know where the hell I put the adapter. Now this is gonna look real confusing. Like, choose your boot option, Windows 10 or Windows 10. Volume 7, I didn't know we reached seven volumes. Or, uh, again, keep in mind, this is a hard drive, not an SSD. Oh, hey, look at that, it's the Windows 7 thingy lens flare. Oh, there you go. And the text just appears and, <laughs> nope, that, that, that was out of order. Getting devices ready up. Oh, nope, that is totally not Windows 7. No, 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 no. Of course, I can't do any better, but I'm just, I'm just critiquing. Okay, this doesn't look that accurate. Oh, we got the log on UI. Probably the same from Vista Reloaded. I, I didn't make a video on that. Hey, this looks so nice. Look at that. It looks so accurate and it doesn't have the mouse showing up with the mouse cursor, unlike Reunion 7. So that's a one up. Oh, black screen. We get our little Windows 7 just peeping around. Windhawk, again. Again, keep in mind in the beginning, there's not gonna be, hey, there's a wallpaper. There's not gonna be any graphics adapter. We're gonna see a whole lot of glitches, indubitably. Hehe, <laughs> fancy words. So far, that's the only thing we seem to get on a wood still spinning, so we gotta wait for this. So far, you get your recycle bin, usual. What's new in update four? Hmm. So this is the fourth update as of this video. Wait, so you get nothing in the taskbar? And there it is, at a rather fast speed for a hard drive. Windows Media Center, I always love Windows Media Center. Please, come on, come on, hard drive, come on. Beautiful. This is such a PlayStation interface. Oh yeah, again, no graphics adapter, so expect this weird performance. Okay, so what do we get? We right click. So far it's already in full screen and everything seems to be scaled properly. Let's go to gadgets. We put every single gadget ever. Hope nothing will dox me out of this stuff. Check out my type of wolf parody. Anyways, now we right click and go to personalize. Again, remember this is based off Windows 10 LTSC, so it's fast, even for a hard drive. So, so far, of course we get no arrow. You get a whole bunch of other themes. Reunion 7 does not have like literally just countries. Where's Morocco? Go to Windows Classic. Please wait. Generic theme changing. Uh, that looks inaccurate. Go to Aero themes. No graphics adapter. Okay, so let's explore around with Internet Explorer so I can get a screen recorder so that everything can look clearer. Shoot right, I still didn't set up the Wi-Fi. It detects what Wi-Fi there are. Once I click on connect, it doesn't ask for the password and it doesn't connect. So Windows did not detect any networking hardware. How the heck am I supposed to get any drivers. After an obnoxious amount of fumbling and trying to access the Windows 10 Wi-Fi settings, I finally managed to get the network working. So now it's time to get Google Chrome or Firefox just so I can get OBS and maybe Snappy Driver Installer Origin so I can get those graphics drivers. Alright, now I'm using OBS. I still don't have any graphics adapter and as you can see the CPU usage is nearly half of the CPU. And uh, all I'm doing is uh, downloading the drivers for the video and uh, other stuff. While that's happening, let's just explore some other stuff. So games, you get everything you'd want, including... Imagine if there was pinball in here. It seems like we get our standard collection of games. Probable Place is my favorite. Beginner. Yes! 
preferable place don't need no graphics adapter so you get the point it works and then we go to paint perhaps and if you dare tell me there isn't any paint oh my goodness i got scared yes i am sure i would like to leave purple place hey this shape looks weird almost as if this is a bit of an older version of paint oh, wait no never mind it's still the same hey we can still use paint who cares hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go exquisite no thanks and uh still waiting for the driver to download of course and um, sticky notes perhaps uh huh boom there it is it's sitting there you say hello and then you say um magnifier now that's something we didn't see in reunion 7 and it's suffering because of the lack of graphics adapter omg views yes exit now oh, that, that that thing suffered on screen keyboard yeah it looks very windows 7 if only we, we had the graphics adapter there you go see if it actually works though um and the, to test that we're gonna go to paint again boom we say you got this and then we go that is quite the sound effect but hey it actually works it's not a fake right and then we go to games and no thank you maintenance this stuff startup windows media center assist ray whatever the hell that means and then you get a whole bunch of stuff including the sound recorder hey yo this is the windows 7 sound recorder stop recording and then you can save it in your beautiful documents and then we can go to somewhere else we go to our windows accessories connect to a network projector blah blah projector notepad very much hey yo that's it Heh, sound effects of course are accurate windows administrative tools and you get this whole bunch of stuff whatever the hell any of this is let's see do we get our standard um ah uh, come on guys to anybody who makes these theme packs just get us the basic video that is included hey there you go and there's our majestic koala there he is just looking at you like that but hey just get me my pre-included um windows 7 video no kalimba ninja tuna and there's no other stuff come on guys just make sure to put this kind of stuff right boot screen Ooh. Let's see what's like this. I haven't checked it uh, so far, so. More accurate start menu, control panel. Oof, you can see the images are suffering to be displayed because of the lack of graphics adapter. And uh, Explorer 7 ready. Yep, 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 yep. And then, I believe all the fancy stuff is in the documents folder. And then you say, taskbar jump list look broken. You got a bunch of issues. And then you got links so scan documents notes what is explorer 7 aero basic and uh, no i still don't i still don't have the graphics adapter for that boot screen base setup.exe let's open it as administrator sure uh 1920 by 1080 install don't tell me i have secure boot enabled i don't so we should be good and there's this whole bunch of stuff getting generated now that I got finally have the graphics drivers and the trackpad drivers, I can finally go and apply arrow. So I believe all I should do is double click and it should technically work. Now let's see how this arrow performs in term in comparison. Don't know why it always glitches like this. Do I just go to a wrong place? There's something off that I do that I shouldn't probably be doing. Oh. And look at that, we have the god awful borders. What the heck, man? why why is that always a thing architect hey at least the colors change but what the hell man there's something wrong <laughs> me Russia. i like to have me russian theme i go to color enable transparency transparency don't work <laughs> nothing change yeah i don't know what the hell it's not working for some reason anyway okay um no no da, 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 da. something's wrong fix nothing i'm just making worse <laughs> oh my days what the hell am i doing i just mixed the basic theme with the arrow yeah i've just mixed them up probably yeah i guess you're just gonna have to witness this abomination of a theme that i just somehow created so these are our themes all it does is change the backgrounds oh <laughs> what have i done damn the classic theme is just stuck in here oh no i can't read anything 
Oh dear. Windows Media Player. I don't think it's gonna be any different. How about Windows Update? Hey, do we have an antivirus? Because in Reunion 7, you don't have any kind of Windows Defender. Oh, woo. Again, I don't think there's really any kind of uh, antivirus, is there? Here we are in our Windows 10 settings with this weird bright blue going on. Wait, we have our screensavers. Got this 3D text preview. Cool. And uh, blank. She has nothing. Bubbles. Yes. Do it! Wait zero minutes! No, I want my bubbles! Hey! Ah, damn it! There's bubbles, there's Mystify. Ooh, it looks like a music visualizer. Photos. Ribbons. I want my bubbles. No options. This doesn't want to open up. So I don't think you're gonna have any kind of antivirus like Windows Defender, I meant. Taskbar and Start menu. Use small icons. Ooh, this made it look worse. This made it look worse. Yeah, we'll never get fixed, will it? No, I don't think so. Anyway, so you're just gonna have to deal with this abomination for now. Hey, look, there's a weirdo animation in the, like, the profile picture icon thingy. Huh, interesting. Yo, I'm doing a voiceover right now, and I didn't end up doing a proper outro for this. So this is the boot up screen, and as you can see, it looks extremely accurate, and it's uh, properly scaled. Unlike Reunion 7, which it makes it look all tiny and weird. And as you can see, we have our dual boot options, all freaky, and the, the mouse cursor is back just like Reunion 7, unfortunately. Thank you guys for watching, a sub would be appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace!